It's 2023 and men are totally lost. Men have no money, no friends, and zero hoes. Grandma, I'm kidding about the hoes part, but men are really struggling in their relationships with women right now. So yeah, these issues suck. But what are we gonna do? Sit around and complain like a bunch of Hassan fans? Of course not, because we're not a bunch of obnoxious, privileged losers with zero personality. No offense. So in this video, we're gonna go over a bunch of solutions to these issues, some coming from highly educated people like Richard Reeves, British author man who wrote a book about this exact subject, and some solutions coming from me, Kamal, a 27-year-old cisgender American male with zero priors. So let's get started. According to Pew News, not that kind, but this kind, 60% of men under 30 are single right now. Just to give y'all some context, women, it's about 34%. And sexual intimacy, AKA get nasty, AKA fucking, is at a 30 year low. Now, of course, I don't think these things just stem from one thing, but I would say the biggest reason is because throughout the history of mankind, for the most part, women have had to literally rely on men just to survive. Because I don't know if you know this, but uh, we haven't really treated women that great throughout history. And the award for world's bravest man goes to Kamal, no less name. Oh my gosh, oh my God. <laughs> Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I definitely do deserve this. I am the world's bravest man. And now technically, women don't have to rely on a man for really anything. Which if you think about it, is kind of one of the biggest deals in mankind. You know, now women are actually going to college more than men. They're building their own careers and whatnot. So in 2023, a woman doesn't have to deal with Terry and his anger issues and shitty communication skills just because he's bringing home that Chevron paycheck that's going to pay the mortgage, you know? That's the woman of old. And women, I get it. It's like, oh, boo-hoo. I have to learn how to be a person. It's like, I know. I know. I know that's annoying to hear. But hey, if men have to learn how to be good partners to women for the first time in history, and most of us either don't have dads, or if we do have dads, they probably weren't the best partners to our moms, who are we supposed to learn this shit from? The number one men's podcast in the world? Fresh and fit? I don't think so. Women always want the bigger, better deal. BBD. They do not care about your struggles. They wait at the finish line and fuck the winners, guys. This is why I get so mad at Red Pill because they're right about women being able to work changing the dating market. But the advice that these knuckle-dragging troglodytes suggest is just holding men back from having any sort of meaningful relationship. Their advice will ruin you 100%. Things like you shouldn't live with your wife and family. You should live in a separate house with your guy friends so you can challenge each other to do push-ups because women make you weak. Women are hypergamous creatures that are always looking to upgrade. So therefore, she's not your girl, it's just your turn. Because inevitably, she will find a master with more money, better abs, better teeth, etc., etc. We don't want hoes. Don't ever, ever confide in your woman or tell her how you're actually feeling because she'll sense weakness and think you are a pussy. Never fall in love with a woman. That's gay. Bitch, it's your fucking fault. Become a high value man so you can have a one-sided open relationship because women realize that you as a millionaire are more rare than her as a woman with Titties. These are things that 98% of women will not tolerate, not even a little bit. And this Neanderthal way of thinking isn't doing anything, which is making male and female dynamics even worse. Dumbass Myron will always bring up protecting and providing for a woman physically, but has way too small of a brain to realize that in 2023, it's much more important to provide for a woman emotionally as well. Because most of us don't live in a fucking war zone. And you are not Batman. Batman here. And today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to handle the worst pain of all, heartbreak. Bitch, it's your fucking fault. So you're not going to be fucking protecting a woman every hour of the day and night. Obviously shit can happen. And when it does, no girl wants their guy hightailing it out of there. A woman's first thing isn't, I need a man to protect me. Because if they did, Sneeko and Fresh would get no play, let's be real. And to any Fresh and Fit fans watching this, why are you taking advice 
from two men in their 30s who've never had a successful long-term relationship, who use Sugar Baby apps as dating websites, and have been publicly outed for pressuring their guests into having sex with them. Do these seem to be the best people to learn about relationships from? Just saying. Okay, so men are getting zero play. How do we actually fix this issue? Number one, I know this is gonna be a little soy, a little cringe, but men are gonna have to learn how to become a little bit more vulnerable, yeah. okay? Because a good woman can spot that emotional unavailability shit from a mile away. And all you're going to have left is hoes who are also emotionally unavailable and hoes are mean. Hoes are the women that Fresh and Fit talk about, that are hypergamous and feel nothing. Now, I think this is a very small percentage of people, but when you are that emotionally unavailable guy, that's all you're ever gonna attract. And that's what they're too stupid to understand. But we over here, <laughs> We pass that. Number two, men have to learn how to make women feel comfortable, not just physically, but emotionally as well. A woman really has to trust you and feel like she can tell you almost anything about herself without you going crazy or judging her. You don't deserve a boyfriend. You don't deserve a guy to take you seriously because you are straight material. Number whatever we're on, men have to learn how to control the flow of a conversation. A date should never feel like an interview. So when you ask her what her favorite movie is and she she tells you Suicide Squad, you know to leave and not pay for the meal. I'm kidding, kind of, but whatever her favorite movie is, you wanna build off of that conversation. So what's your favorite character? Or, oh, I love that movie. Yeah, I love this scene. You don't wanna go from thing to thing to thing. That makes people, women included, uncomfortable. Number five, avoid dating apps, okay? Just don't do it. Most of us are not supermodels, and obviously, all you can really go based off of on apps is how they look. And if your face is all fucked up, you're not going to be killing it on the dating apps. So you need to put yourself in a situation where you have to interact with women naturally. Like church groups, co-ed teams. Like I know people who go to improv classes and then you know, like they go and get drinks and shit afterwards. You need to put yourself in groups like this where people can see your sparkling personality. And honestly, a lot of men just need to get comfortable just talking to women in a platonic sense. Like I got a lot better with women after I got one of my first retail jobs and a lot of my like female coworkers became my friends kind of. We would just have conversations about relationships and I got way, way, way better at it. I would suggest making female friends. I know that red pills are always telling you never get female friends. But the worst thing about having female friends is girls can't fight. But that's only because they're stupid. Yeah, if you could do these things and the opposite of all the fresh and fit shit I said earlier, you will be miles above the rest. Trust me. If it wasn't bad enough that men are womenless virgins, they're also unskilled, poor womenless virgins. An article that I read once said that men are less skilled and make more money in 2023 than they did in 1979. Damn. And I think that our education system is a huge part of why men are struggling. The Wall Street Journal reported that last year, colleges enrolled 1.5 million less students than they did five years ago. And men accounted for 70% of that decline. But honestly, I think this issue actually starts all the way in grade school. See, our current education system sucks. It sucks ass, and it especially sucks ass for boys. Because as somebody who's been a little boy, being a little boy is kind of like, <laughs> See, you just get this crazy surge of energy just out of nowhere, and you want to do karate chops and shit for no reason. So sometimes it's really hard for us to sit still for eight hours a day learning about parabolas and whatnot, especially when we all know in the back of our head, we're never gonna use this shit in real life. Believe it or not, I don't know what it's like to be a woman. So I don't know if you guys have that Dragon Ball Z shit in your head all the time, but I will say from the outside looking in, it definitely looks like it's a lot easier for you guys to just sit down, chill, and learn. So between men having anime brain and girls actually developing their prefrontal cortex one to two years faster than boys do girls are actually doing better than boys now in every single subject in school especially in english 
They're like a year ahead in that shit. So now the gender gap for graduating with a college degree is even bigger than it was in 1972 when we started to push women to, you know, like go to college. It's just bigger in the opposite way. Now most public colleges are 60% women and 40% men. And even if men do end up going to college, they're way more likely to drop out than women are. And I don't think I have to tell you that usually when you have a college degree, you're going to make mas dinero. And just to be clear, I'm not blaming women for anything saying that they're doing something wrong. They should be going to college, getting their degree, and starting the best careers that they possibly can. I'm just saying, men, we got a little bit of catching up to do. It seems like every guy in the world wants to start a dropshipping store or a marketing agency and become a millionaire by 21. But unfortunately for most of us, uh, that shit ain't gonna happen. Okay, so men are garbage at school, we're broke and unskilled. What are we actually going to do to solve these problems? For most of us, we either need to go to college or get a trade for as cheap as humanly possible. There's no need to go to school out of state and pay three times more, there's no reason for that. And I don't think I have to say, don't get a degree in some dumb shit. Now, if you're terrible at math, don't be an engineer. There's other things you can do. Go to school for business or some shit. That's what everybody does. They just don't finish. So if you finish, you'll be fine. If you're still in high school, check to see if your school has scrock. At least that's what they called it at my old school. It takes place of one of your like six classes. So when you graduate, you have some sort of certification so you can make more monies when you're 18. Okay, now I know none of you wanted to hear any of that practical shit. So if you do wanna go the online business route, at least hear me out and learn from some of my mistakes. Number one, pick a business that is cheap to run. You don't wanna pick drop shipping. We're gonna be spending 50 or $100 a day on ads when you don't know what the shit you are doing. You will blow through your money and you will have learned nothing. Do not do that. Pick something that's gonna cost like less than $30 a month to run. Number two, when you're going into a business, think of it as this is what I'm going to be doing for the next five to 10 years, not 30 days and I'm gonna become a millionaire, okay? Because I definitely made the mistake of jumping from thing to thing to thing to thing to thing because the money wasn't quick and I got bored and I was like, fuck this. Why am I not rich yet? When you start a business, take it for real, act like an adult, create a business plan and everything, and know that this is what you're going to be doing for the long run. So take your time before you decide what you wanna do. Number three, learn to pay attention to the boring stuff. I know the ads and marketing stuff is exciting, but so many businesses fail because the owner is not paying attention to the boring stuff. I actually take time where I put a timer on my phone and I just literally stare at a thing to train my brain to be okay with being bored. Everybody's, you know, stimulated all the time. You're always on TikTok. You're always like, uh, looking around for the fucking thing that's gonna entertain you. You need to train your brain to get used to being bored. And lastly, if you're in high school right now, they're never, ever, never, never, ever going to teach you about making money or financial literacy, how to do your taxes, none of that shit. So don't wait on it. It's not gonna happen. But you're on YouTube right now. There's all sorts of resources, books, and whatnot that will teach you these things. There's no excuses anymore. Warren Buffett, he would literally just go to the library as a kid and just read. So you have YouTube, you have all these apps that summarize books, you have a bunch of resources. Go out and figure it out. You can't depend on Miss Gostrovich to teach you everything, okay? She's trying her best, but her son is on drugs. She can only do so much. So because men are womenless and older activities like church and such are on the decline, friendships are more important than ever, but uh, men don't really have those either. According to who actually cares, just believe me, 15% of men said that they have zero close friends which is five times higher than it was in 1990. And I'm not saying we all have to be Justin Waller here. I've been on sitting at countless tables with Andrew and Tristan Tate, and they all bring beautiful, stunning women to the table. The only thing that happens when they get up to pee is I ask them, how in the hell did you land him? Because that's weird and probably gay, but friendships are very essential. One study, don't worry about where I got it from, said that loneliness is actually just as bad as smoking 15 cigarettes a day. And cigarettes are bad for you. And I'm not even a doctor. I just know that shit. While doing research for this video, I read a lot of things saying that the lack of male friendships is due to men not wanting to be vulnerable. Now, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and disagree with that because I've been a male my whole life, believe it or not. And I've never ever had the thought of like, 
oh yeah, this guy's cool, but you know, he just has his walls up. He just doesn't want to be vulnerable with me. I can guarantee that's a sentence no man has ever said in the history of time and or space. I would agree that that can definitely affect like how close you are with your friends, but I mean, just like making friends initially, I don't think that's a factor at all. I will say guys can definitely learn a little bit about friendships from women because I do think they seem to be a little bit closer with their friendships. I remember one time I was talking to a girl and she showed me videos of her friends having a color party. Now I know every single guy watching this is like, what the shit? is a color party. I'll tell you what a color party is. So essentially, everybody in their little friend group is assigned a color and they bring like food and snacks and games and shit that are that color. And they just have a fun ass time. And I'm like, that shit sounds awesome. You can call me gay if you want, I don't care. You know what me and my friends would do for fun? We would sit in a cold garage, play poker for nine hours straight and call each other words we all pretend we don't say anymore. But a color party? I mean, that sounds like a blast, I can't deny it. But okay, what can we do to solve this friendship recession we're all in? Okay, I have a few suggestions, so hear me out. One, I would start with just reaching out to your old friends from high school, not the loser ones, you know, do a quick Instagram check, make sure nobody's- Watching Hassan Piker videos. Honey, oh, can't say that on YouTube anymore, that's gonna have to be in the membership section, and I appreciate every single one of you. You can join different groups based on topics that interest you. I know you know what Meetup is, use that shit. Meet people, it helps. If you're into business, you can go to business seminars. I've met a lot of people that way. They always sit you next to some random person. They can be your friend. Boxing classes, I met people like that. Improv class, like I said earlier, that's another great way to meet people. And if things feel bleak, I promise you, the world truly is your oyster. You just gotta go out and shake things up a little bit. And if you do have friends, try to have like some real deep conversations with them. And if you can't, these are not real friends, you know? Me and my friends would literally just sit at Denny's and talk about real shit for like six hours at a time. That is weird and extreme, but it did help me develop a lot like as a person. So yeah, guys, I hope this video helped in some way. Obviously us men have some unique issues in this modern era, but you know, I feel like we can handle it, right? I mean, it's better than slavery, right? You know, I'm kidding. I mean, I'm not kidding. It is definitely better than slavery, but I know that's not the standard. But seriously, you guys let me know what you thought of this video. Let me know what issues I missed. And if you guys are ever feeling lost or ever wanna reach out, please just write down in the comments and I will do my best to answer the question. I did drop out of community college, but I can definitely give you a better answer than fresh and fit in Nick Green. So at least I got that going for me. Other than that, I appreciate all of you and I'll see you guys soon. Peace. Well, well, well. Look who made it to the end of the video. Yes, and that means you liked it. I see you fiending for more. Craving it. So go ahead and become a member. We've got all kinds of goodies and trinkets lined up for you. Unadulterated madness. Dirty shit. Vile. Angry. <laughs> <laughs>